Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Shavi Zane and I'm coming on to bring a message for the collective. Um, this message is in regards to your manifestations, those things that you have been praying for, those visions that you all have been having. I want to pull the cards, tap into the energy to see what are you manifesting? What might be postponing or slowing down you bringing that vision into fruition? And what you need to do in order to clear the blockages so that whatever it is that you've been praying for comes to you, okay? So obviously everybody's manifestation is not the same, okay? But take it how it resonates with your circumstance. If you find that this message resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. If you want a private reading, you can always check the description box for my email to get something that is more catered to your personal circumstances. So let's get started. I want to first look into... What are you manifesting right now, okay? Wow, okay, so that came out fast. Um, so it looks like I have the Strength card and the Four of Swords coming out here. Some of you are actually manifesting better health. Some of you are in the process of working on getting more rest, being stronger, being healthier, healing. The Heart Chakra is standing out strongly in both of these cards. So for some of you, it's dealing with healing your heart, um, whether it's physical heart issues or healing your heart from past pain or heartbreak. But I definitely see an, in, uh, an energy of getting back up again after going through you know, some trials and tribulations, maybe feeling down, maybe needing to nest, to nurture yourself and getting your strength back again because this is the strength card here, okay? So I definitely see an energy of you all manifesting better health. Even if you don't have health issues, maybe you're doing things for yourself to get your health back up, okay? To get things back in alignment or to feel stronger, to be healthier, to look better and things of that nature. So if you find that you're in this category, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull cards and it might come out in different categories, okay? So right now this is showing me health. So let me see what might be blocking you from fulfilling that desire when it comes to your health getting stronger and things of that nature. Let's see. I'm pulling from my Heal Yourself deck. If any of you want to order this deck or my Declare and Decree deck, email me, okay? Um, so let's see. Constantly overthinking. So maybe some of you are overthinking it too much. You might be complicated and complicating the process of getting stronger, getting healthier, and healing yourself. Your overthinking could also be causing some stress, maybe being in your head too much, not with the right thoughts, but maybe with negative thoughts about your health, whether you are having fears about your health, having anxiety, maybe depression or anxiety when it comes to your health here. And so needing to come out of your head, you want to right burn and release these things that I'm pulling out with this card, with, these de uh, with this deck here, the Heal Yourself deck. So you might put on paper, I destroy and release the following energies. Maybe you might say concerning my health. Constantly overthinking is one of the first things that you want to put on that list. I also have here abandonment issues. Okay, something about abandonment issues. We'll get into that. And then I have fear of losing control. So when it comes to your health issues, I'm picking up strong crown chakra energy. Your faith is very important right now. You might have a fear of not having the strength to overcome. Maybe if you have certain health issues, maybe fearing that you don't have the strength to overcome, fear of losing control of that, okay? Not being able to do what's necessary to heal yourself. You might fear not knowing what to do. You might be constantly in your head or overthinking the outcome, anticipating the worst case scenario. Maybe some of you are fearing that if something, if your health was to worsen, that maybe you would be abandoned by those people around you, or you might feel like you're doing this alone when it comes to getting your health in alignment. So you want to clear these things out. Abandonment issues, fear of losing control, constantly overthinking. I'm going to pull one more for this one, and I'm going to move on to the next um, category here. So I have two. I have strong attachments to possessions, okay? Strong attachments to possessions. And then I have alcoholism and drug abuse. So for some of you, um, your root chakra, there's work that needs to be done on your crown chakra and your root chakra. When it comes to your health and getting yourself back in alignment, some of you might have to clear out 
addictive behavior patterns, alcoholism, drug abuse, or maybe even it goes even outside of that. It can be overeating, addictions to food, addictions to, you know, self sex, you know, it can be anything that's just not healthy. So I am picking up that codependent behavior pattern. So you might want to also add to that pleasure seeking behavior patterns. And even though I haven't pulled any more cards to get the sacral chakra energy, I am picking up that there's a blockage to your sacral chakra as well. So working on your root chakra, your sacral chakra and your crown chakra, clearing out these energies, strong attachments to possessions. You could have some things that you need to release, like internally, you might be holding on to some things and it's causing you to overthink, but it could also be physically, you have a strong attachment to people or things that's just not healthy for you and it's affecting your health, okay? Or it has affected your health. And so your desire is to manifest better health and to become stronger. But for some of you, the only way for you to get your strength back is to first get out of your head when it comes to the toxic thoughts clear out abandonment issues and fear of being left out in the cold, okay? Because for some of you, these health issues actually stem from you holding on to the wrong people, being overly possessive and having strong attachments to the wrong people has created stress on you mentally and emotionally, and it has begun to manifest physically where you might find yourself either not resting enough or resting a lot, like oversleeping too much. Some of you might find that alcoholism or drug abuse is actually an issue for you um, or any other addictive behavior pattern. And so this is actually affecting your health as well. And then there's this fear of losing control. So if you have become codependent on certain people or certain substances in order to stay mellow, in order to stay cool, because you have all of this internal stuff that's going within and these mental battles that you're in, you might fear losing control if you were to release these things. And so you want to put that on paper and burn it too. Call on the most high, give thanks to your spiritual team for helping you to clear these energies. Okay. Um, let me pull one card from my Declare and Decree deck for the health, okay? For those of you who are concerned about health and you're manifesting, your desire is to manifest better health, more strength, more courage. Because this doesn't just have to be physical health. This can be mental health, spiritual health. So I have here all self-doubt and self-sabotaging behavior patterns are now cleared from my energy. Let me let this plane go by. Okay. All self-doubt and self-sabotaging behavior patterns are now cleared from my energy in spirit and in flesh. So self-doubt, not feeling courageous or strong enough, feeling like, you know, you might lose control. Uh, self-sabotaging self behavior patterns, that would be anything that's not healthy for you doing it, you know, over and over again, which is in alignment with the alcoholism or drug abuse for some um, or even holding on to the wrong types of people or things. That's also self-sabotaging behavior patterns because ultimately if you hold on to the wrong things, you don't open up the opportunity to grab hold of the right things or people. And so you end up sabotage, sabotaging potential blessings, okay? So write that down on paper. I declare and decree that all self-doubt and self-sabotaging behavior patterns are now cleared from my energy and spirit and in flesh. So that's from the declare and decree deck. So let's go ahead and move into the next manifestation that many of you are out there working on. So we've already covered health, okay? Um, so let's see what else you all are out there manifesting and what you can do to clear out any blockages. I want to see everybody win out there. But the main thing is you are consistent and you put in the work. You have to be the one to not just have the faith, but you got to bring the works in with it. So these are the works that I'm being called to show you at this time. OK, so what else are you manifesting? Let's see. So we have here justice. OK, some of you are actually manifesting some fairness, something in your life where you're manifesting a fair outcome. If you're dealing with the judicial system, for some of you, you might be manifesting and praying for um, justice, for the truth to be revealed, okay? And for things to balance out in your favor. Let's see. Okay. Then I have the hermit coming out here and then the nine of cups. All right. Some of you are 
hoping for a balanced partnership. Some of you are manifesting a balanced partnership into your life when it comes to like, I'm picking up more so a romantic partnership, something that is your wish fulfillment, something that brings forth a lot of happiness because for some of you, you spent a lot of time alone and your desire is to call in that partnership that's going to fill up your cup, you'll be able to fill up their cup. Let me clarify these cards. Let me clarify justice. That came out so fast. Goodness. Okay. Well, what came out is the magician, which makes sense. Okay. So you are looking to manifest um, a new beginning when it comes to your love life. Again, for some of you, this is literally dealing with a court case. For some of you, I feel like if this, let's just stick to love, okay? Because I'm picking up love from this particular spread. So we're looking to see what you can do, what blockages are here. So manifesting a balanced connection because you've been in a space of isolation for a period of time here and you're wanting to come out of your shell and to move towards someone who you'll be able to be free, you'll be able to surrender, um, surrender and like be transparent and open with, okay? I have the Eight of Cups coming out as well. So it looks like some of you might also be praying for a different outcome when it comes to like, let's just say you have to get a divorce or something like that. You're hoping that you can create a positive outcome moving forward with your love life here. As you walk away from the past, you'll be able to move forward to something that's more emotionally fulfilling. Let me clarify the hermit. So the hermit is clarified by the high priestess, okay? So many of you have been in a space of silence. Like you might feel like you've been kind of suffering in silence a little bit when it comes to your desires, when it comes to being able to openly communicate with someone who is on the same page as you spiritually. I feel like more spiritually because the hermit and the high priestess is a pair. So it's like two people that dive deeper. They go beyond the surface of life. They're constantly seeking the truth, seeking clarity, seeking ways of being better, seeking ways of going within and, you know, becoming a better version of themselves. So I feel like you are manifesting. Your desire is to manifest someone who is on the same page as you spiritually, someone that gets you. Okay. Someone that is deeply Someone that's very spiritual. That's very important for y'all. Okay. Um, let's clarify the nine of cups. Look at that. See, I knew it was love. So the nine of cups is clarified by the 10 of cups. Okay. So that makes sense. You go from the nine of cups to the 10 of cups. So your desire is to manifest that family structure, that family dynamic where you're able to have that happily ever after with your life partner and you're able to build together, okay? Um, you're wanting a situation where there's unconditional, genuine, and certain love between you and another person. Someone that you can have spiritual conversations with, someone that you can grow with spiritually, someone that's going to push you and encourage you, um, and someone that just kind of gets you on a more spiritual level. So this is a very beautiful thing that you're manifesting here. So let's just go into what might be blocking this from coming in. So I'm going to pull from my Heal Yourself deck to see what might be blocking you from manifesting this beautiful union, the soulmate. What might be blocking you? It's very rainy out here where I'm at today, but it's been beautiful, y'all. Me and my children have stayed in. They're taking naps today, which is unheard of. Okay, my children rarely take naps. But the rain, I guess, put them to sleep after a while. It's so soothing. And, of course, I love the smell of rain. So it's been a pretty relaxing day. I've been doing a lot of personal readings today. So, um, so let's see. I have here emotionalist outlook of the world. So it's something about becoming more connected and having more empathy when it comes to the way that you view life, there's some work that needs to be done there. This is mainly, this is concerning the crown chakra. So you might be detached a little bit. You might need to work on having more empathy, being more compassionate, you know, bringing, balancing out that feminine energy is very important is what I'm picking up here. So let's see what else might be blocking you from manifesting this love connection the spiritual love connection. 
shoot, that's too many cards coming out. Y'all got a lot that you want to say on this one. Or it could be that there's too many blockages. So let me see. I have two heart chakras. I have lack of self-love. And then I have lacks compassion or empathy. Okay, I was just saying that. Um, another one speaks on overeating. So I don't know if there's an energy of maybe trying to overly compensate. Like if you feel that void and it's like that void, you desire for that void to be filled with your partner, your, your soulmate, but they're not there. So you might feel that sense of kind of like loneliness or uh, whatever the case may be. And so maybe you try to fill that void with, you know, things that taste good, pleasure seeking behavior patterns. And it could be that you're drawn to food. That could be your vice. But I'm also picking up something is going on with the heart chakra that needs to be cleansed and healed because the first card came out, dealt with your emotions and emotionless outlook of, of the world. Then we have heart chakra energy coming out back to back, lack of self-love and lack of lacks compassion or empathy. So, you know, the heart chakra is necessary. It needs to be open. It needs to be balanced in order for you to attract love into your life because love is right in alignment with the heart chakra. So this, these are things you want to write, burn, and release. I destroy and release all emotionalist outlook of the world, lack of self-love, lack of compassion or empathy, and maybe even overeating. Because consider, some of you all are like, well, I don't have lack of self-love. I love myself, right? It could be that, let's just say, if your vice is overeating, then that could be a indicator that you want to work on your self-love because overeating or overindulgence can create potential health issues down the line. It can make you more fatigued. It can make you, you know, have you have less energy and things of that nature. And so the act of self-love looks like nurturing yourself in all areas. Okay. Not just spiritually or mentally, but also physically. So working on that is very important. I'm going to pull one more card. Oh, oh, that's a lot that came out, but I'll take them. I got four of them, five of them that came out. So I'm seeing here that the solar plexus and the heart chakra is the main thing. I have disbelief and love that came out here. So three cards for the heart chakra. Then I have constantly overthinking. So maybe you are becoming, you're in your head a lot when it comes to your love life, okay? Okay whether it's about a particular person or whether it's just about love in general, you might be overthinking the situation and maybe your thoughts are not the most healthy thoughts when it comes to your love life. And this could be what's blocking that divine partnership from coming in. The next two I have is no clear direction, solar plexus, and then another solar plexus that says lack of self-control or aggression. So if you find, because with three cards being here for the solar plexus if you find that you might have a hard time dealing with things on the emotional level you might have certain you know aggressive behavior patterns or things that you suppress to the point where somebody triggers you if they push the right button you could become a volcanic explosion not saying that that's what you've been doing but if you've been suppressing things and you haven't found a way to deal with your emotions then someone does have the potential to have more control over your emotions than you do if you give them that right so no clear direction. It could be that you just don't know which way you want to go when it comes to your love life. Whether you have, maybe you have a couple of options and you don't know which way to go, or maybe it's just something about not knowing what decision to make when it comes to your love life here. So you want to work on your solar plexus, your heart chakra. You definitely want to clear out any disbelief that you have in love, because if you're overthinking it, then you might feel like, well, love is not out there. or There's not enough people out here who get me. There's not enough people out here who are spiritual, or there's not enough people out here who can make me happy. If that's something that you're looking for, be very careful because you should not be out here looking for a partner that can make you happy because you're supposed to already find that from within. What they should what they should be able to do is add to your happiness that you've already established. You see what I'm saying? And that goes both ways. So I'm seeing here that maybe some of you are kind of blocking the possibilities. Maybe your imagination is not big enough to where you could see the infinite possibilities of how this thing can um, come about. And so main thing is your heart chakra, your crown chakra, and your solar plexus chakra when it comes to manifesting love. Work on those three chakras specifically. Maybe get you a green candle and write on there, I believe in love. 
love is available to me. You might write on there, I am compassionate, I am empathetic, I love myself, I, um, my actions are in alignment with my self-love, my thoughts are in alignment with my self-love, you know, things like that. That's a green candle for the heart chakra. If you get you a yellow candle, you can put on there, I am the master of my fate, okay? I have clear direction on my life journey and where this path is taking me and who is coming into my life or um, I treat my body well. These are different things that you want to work on right here. So now let's move into the next manif uh, manifestation that you might be working on here. So, so far I've seen health. I've seen love. So let's see what else. Because I'm pretty sure that some of you are out there manifesting some things concerning your finances. I just feel like that might come up next. But let's just see. It could be something else. What are you currently manifesting? Look at that. So the four of pentacles came out. Okay. So... Pentacles definitely deals with security. I'm going to pull a couple of cards just to see if it's in alignment with what I already assumed. So I have here another four. This is the four of swords. Okay, this came out the first time when it comes to health. But number fours deals with foundation. So if you've been seeing the number four a lot, this can indicate that you want more stability. You, some, you want something that's more secure, more stable. Okay, um, I have the queen of cups coming out here next. Then I have the six of wands. The empress is at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like this one may not be about finances per se. Some of you are wanting to manifest a specific person into your life here. You're wanting this person to surrender to you and you're wanting them to, you know, see you. You're wanting them to acknowledge you, um, to see your value. You're wanting to nurture something with a specific person here. For some of you, you're wanting to manifest a better relationship with your mother figure. You're wanting her to finally acknowledge the effort that you've put in for yourself. You're wanting to heal a unhealthy relationship with her. For others of you, you might actually be wanting to manifest a particular female in your life. I'm picking up a strong feminine energy, so you could be a male out there wanting to manifest or praying for a specific woman to enter into your life or to finally recognize you and to nurture the relationship and to open up her heart to you because you might feel like there's a break that the two of you have taken and you, you feel like this person might be holding back or guarding themselves, blocking their heart from you. So for some of you, you're wanting to manifest the love of a particular person here. So let me see. Um, I'm also picking up an energy for some of you. You could be women out there who are trying to manifest more publicity. Like you want to be front and center stage. You want more people to see you in the public eye. That's another thing that I'm picking up here. You want more people to see you in the public eye because you might be, uh, you might have some sort of creative idea that you want to invest in. Um, and so you're wanting to promote whatever this is, maybe you being promoted more so that the world can see you more. So whatever category you fit in, let's just see what's causing the blockages here. So we're going to look into the Heal Yourself deck. What blockages are here that's preventing you from manifesting the Six of Wands energy. Six of Wands and Empress energy. You know, I'm also picking up this energy where it's like, if you're a feminine out there, because a strong feminine energy with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. If you're a feminine out there, you might be manifesting a new version of yourself, like a better, stronger, more... Um, fulfilling version of yourself, a more evolved version of yourself, okay? Oh 
let me see. So I have here difficulty realizing your truth in the world. I have lax motivation for fun. I'm going to pull a couple more for what's blocking you. So difficulty realizing your truth in the world. Some of you might not be 100% sure about what you desire or what you're here to do, what you're here for. You're having a hard time recognizing what that is. With the lax motivation for fun, I mean, obviously, in order for you to step into the Six of Wands energy, you have to have a certain amount of passion, a certain amount of zeal, excitement for life and things of that nature here. And so if there's a blockage where you just feel disconnected or detached or you just feel like you don't have the energy, you don't have the motivation to get out, then it could very well be that you're wanting to clear out that blockage there. I have judging yourself or others critically. Some of you... Some of you are feminines out there who are, again, you're manifesting a more beautiful version of yourself, whether it's aesthetically or internally or both. You're wanting to be the best that you can be. Like you're wanting to evolve and to really manifest a more stronger feminine energy within yourself, like to really get connected with that feminine energy. And um, it's going to take for you to stop being so critical of yourself and also not be so critical of others, that's where the blockage is at. So let's just say you're in the four of pentacles, four of swords. You're working on yourself, but you feel like, okay, things are tight, money is tight, you're still trying to heal, you know, you're still working on that self-love, but you see an empress. And you might judge that empress critically because there might be some jealousy there or something like that. You're wanting to clear out any energy of jealousy or envy of other success and clear out any unhealthy self ridicule ridicule that you have internally because it's okay to evaluate yourself you want to always evaluate yourself and see what areas you can heal but you might be overly critical of yourself where you are putting yourself down rather than finding the beautiful things within yourself and you know lifting yourself up if you're going to pinpoint your own flaws, then it's good to pinpoint them and to actually execute and, you know, have a plan on a spiritual level on how you're going to heal those things rather than just picking yourself apart, but you're doing nothing to actually, you know, become a better version of yourself. So if you're going to acknowledge your flaws, do something to shift that energy, alchemize and transmute. Um, let me see. Then I have guarded cold or trust issues. Bottom of the deck says rejects intimacy. So some of you, the reason why you haven't been able to manifest this particular um, vision is because you might self-sabotage your own potential because you are, you have a blocked heart chakra for whatever reason, your heart chakra rec uh, became blocked. Maybe others judged you critically and made you feel less than about yourself. And so you begin to criticize yourself as a result of that. And it's created, it's caused you to become more guarded towards others, to have trust issues, to maybe be more cold here. So you end up doing things to protect your heart. Because yeah, that makes sense. The first card coming out is the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who is guarding their heart. You might even use your material possessions as a front, like as a representative to make it seem as if you're happy with life when in fact what you're doing is using that as a protective barrier so that people won't really see the vulnerability behind it. You see what I'm saying? Because behind this purse that she's clutching, which is the material possessions, is a heart that is blocked. It's a heart chakra that needs healing. And so you might reject intimacy. You might reject close relationships with others because you're trying to protect yourself. And so your desire is to be more open. Now I'm understanding uh, better. Your desire is to be more open, more sociable, more um, transparent and vulnerable when it comes to other people being okay with, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, allowing other people to see you. Um, 
But if you're criticizing yourself or judging yourself too much, then you'll, you'll stay behind this wall. You'll constantly have this protective layer or maybe too many protective layers surrounding you. And so this is where the blockages needs to be cleared in order for you to bring this manifestation into fruition, okay? So let me see. So now we have, this one looks more like self-love, becoming a better version of yourself. And for some of you, attracting a specific person, um, but knowing that you have some work to do in terms of healing yourself in order to attract this empress into your life. Others of you, you just want to manifest you becoming the empress and really growing, becoming a better version of yourself, more physically attractive as well as internally uh, beautiful. Um, and then for others of you, it deals with like a mother figure that you want to be able to uh, heal the relationship with. So let's move on. I want to see the next manifestation. I'm going to use my, uh, this career deck. This is not my personal deck that I've made. Um, hold on. So let's see what else you might be manifesting, especially when it comes to career, finances, and see what might be causing blockages there and what you can do. Oh, shoot. Before I do that, let me look into my declare and decree deck for the cards that I just laid out for those of you who might be trying to attract an empress, become the empress, or to gain a stronger connection with your mother figure. Whatever your uh, manifestation is concerning that, let's look into the declare and decree deck and see what declaration you can do. We are still in the full moon energy, and so this is a good time for you to write, burn, and release things as well. You can do it at any time of the moon cycle. It doesn't matter because I do it all the time, but this is a really strong time where the energy is more heightened to help you to clear these things out. So I have here all lack mentality and scarcity mindset is now cleared from my energy and spirit and in flesh. So you start off with, I declare and decree, okay, that all lack mentality and scarcity mindset is now cleared from my energy and spirit and in flesh. So that's going to help you to clear out the blockages specifically, lack mentality, feeling like there's not enough of something, uh, scarcity mindset is the same energy. So let's move now into the finances and career. What are you manifesting? So I have here promoter. Okay, this is the first one, promoter. So it says, um, if there's a new idea or a project manifesting, know that it has great potential for success. So some of you want to either be a promoter or you're manifesting um, people that can come into your life that will help to promote you, your business, your ideas, this, these creative ideas. Some of you might want to work in the nightlife industry, events, a restaurant industry. Maybe you're wanting to manifest a restaurant, okay? Okay. Um, an event planner, something like that. But it looks like you're wanting to manifest something that's going to put you front and center stage here where people will know you. So let's see, what else do we have here? I have money manager. It says this card could indicate your career finances could take a giant leap forward. So some of you are wanting to manifest more money into your life. You want your career to progress. Maybe you want to rise higher up the ladder in your current career, or you're wanting to get like... um more money coming in, maybe wanting to manifest a raise, you know, a bigger salary here. Some of you are, are wanting to manifest careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything dealing with finances. Let's see what else is coming out here. Some of you are actually wanting to manifest someone who comes into your life that's going to um, financially front you the money to help you get your business off the ground. Um, and to help promote your business, you're wanting to manifest some, wow, so look at that. Y'all ain't playing no games. Y'all want to manifest a windfall of money. Okay. You are wanting to manifest a large sum of money. It says you're about to receive a windfall of money or a pay raise. See, that makes sense. Um, you want, you want to manifest your money being in a positive cycle where there's a constant, you want an overflow of abundance so that you don't have to worry about anything in the long run. So I see that. Then I have another one that deals with your destiny. It says, believe in your dreams and passions. It is your calling to follow them. Some of you are wanting to manifest what is your destiny? What is your purpose? You're wanting to manifest a situation that's going to allow you to walk in your destiny and in your purpose while being financially secure at the same time. Okay. Um, 
whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to your higher purpose. So yes, some of you are trying to find out what your purpose is here in this lifetime. Um, and you're wanting to kind of expedite the process of things moving forward. The bottom of the deck I have here, story writer. Some of you are wanting to manifest writing a book getting a book put out there or maybe some sort of script, whether it's a movie, a script, but you've written it or songs that you have written. Um, so it could be music, movies, poetry, um, you know, books, whatever it is that you're writing about, blogging, you're wanting to manifest a position where people are able to be um, more influenced by, <sighs> close the door, baby, whatever it is that you're working on, so for some of you, you wanted to manifest a career in social media, book writing, content writing, or blogging. Um, you're wanting to be in a position where your words influence others in a strong way, okay? And so I do see that. So let's see what might be blocking these manifestations from coming through. I want to pull from this deck that I'm already using first to see what might be blocking. And then I'm going to look at that. I'm shuffling the deck and I'm already looking at fear. Some of you... Are, it's not coming through because you have certain fears here. Let me read this real quick. It says, overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Um, don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require for you to step outside of your comfort zone to achieve abundance. But so for some of you, you fear stepping outside of your comfort zone. Others, you might fear self-sabotage or you might fear success. You might fear not being successful. But well, fear seems to be a major factor here. So what's blocking you from this? So I have here life purpose. So I'm feeling like with this life purpose card coming out, some of you might not, let's just say you're wanting to manifest a higher position in your current company. This might not be for everybody. But you're wanting to manifest a more, a higher position, maybe a managerial position or something like that. But it's not coming through and you've been hoping for this. You've been putting in the work. You've been, you know, consistent and diligent with showing that you are worthy of rising up the ladder. It could be that it's blocked because you're supposed to be more focused on your life purpose and what it is that you're visualizing and wanting is not realistic because it's not in alignment with your purpose. Um, it says what is meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. So I feel like for some of you, it's blocked. Your spiritual team, the most high in your spiritual team is blocking it because they want you to be able to see that what you are desiring is not realistic for you because in this lifetime, you are destined to move towards your life purpose. And it's almost like, you can, you have the free will to not step into your life purpose, but you don't, you can't really anticipate that things are going to flourish for you in those areas that's not in alignment with your life purpose. Maybe things will flatline. They'll probably stay the same. You might even find that you have tower moments when it comes to those situations, whatever that career path is or that job, even though you desire to level up um, because you're being shown that that's not the path for you. And so it could be that your life purpose is what's calling you more than that position that you're wanting to manifest or envision, envisioning here. So then for others of you, I have unclear. For some of you, what's blocking is, it says money is either tight or you're not receiving what you're expected. The answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. So for some of you, um, what's blocking you is that you're feeling like you don't have enough. There's some lack mentality here, largely because you're in behind. This person has a lot of numbers. Like behind this, you see that there's a lot of numbers, maybe receipts or bookkeeping or something. You might be overly, overly consumed with numbers. Okay. Maybe you are constantly looking at your bank account saying, okay, well, I only have this. You're overly fixated with numbers. Remember, that's an illusion, okay? Numbers is an illusion in terms of what's in your account, okay? Because that can be there today, gone tomorrow. It can be there today and it jump up tomorrow because it's a number. So you might be overly fixated with numbers and you're needing to take a step back 
and start to see things from a higher perspective, knowing that there's infinite possibilities on how you can attract income or money to you. Um, but I'm strongly with the destiny card and the life purpose card. It's almost like for some of you, you can't get around escaping your destiny and your life purpose in this lifetime. If you don't go towards these things, then you might find that things will remain tight. You see what I'm saying? It, you will remain in this position where you feel unclear about where things are headed for you because you're being called to step into a leadership position. Okay. Um, it says it's time to step up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly approve once you accept and step into your power. See, so for some of you, it's like you're not going to. It's going to be slower. It's going to be postponed until you step into that leadership position, which means that you are taking on that crown. You're being crowned with, you know, whatever your life purpose is. You take it, you receive it and you step up. You step into that power. So let me see, I'm going to pull from my deck, my declare, uh, my heal yourself deck to see what else is blocking you when it comes to your finances and what you desire to attract when it comes to your purpose, your career. Because for some of you, you're not necessarily blocked financially. You might find that things are pretty steady. You know, they're pretty balanced there, but you feel like in terms of manifesting a new idea, um, you might be having a difficult time there. So let's see, you have here overstimulation. Something is going on with the sacral chakra. So that could definitely affect your creativity. Then you have lax compassion or empathy. This did come out earlier. Something going on with the heart chakra. You have fear of losing control. This is the root chakra. Then you have lack of personal power which that makes sense because you, the card just said your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. So for some of you, you don't feel courageous enough to take on this leadership position because it could be that for some of you, that leadership position, maybe it was offered to you and you turned it down if you're working for a company, or maybe you know that you should go and fill out that application, you know, within your business, your, your company or whatnot, um, because the likelihood of you getting it is pretty high, but you might not feel courageous enough. You might not feel like you have the personal power or the strength to be able to do it. For others of you, you're being called to step into a leadership position where you're an entrepreneur and you're working for yourself, but it's in alignment with your destiny, your life purpose here. So some of you fear losing control, which means like, you know, there's a certain amount of security that you have when you're working for someone else. Okay. Um, because you feel like, okay, all I have to do is go in, do the work, and they're going to give you a check every two weeks. Or for some of you, if you get salary, however you get paid, you know that that's going to consistently come to you as long as you consistently put in the work. But some of you might not step away from that to go independent and to step into that leadership position because you fear that things could cave from underneath you and you might lose control. You might not be able to see where the money is coming from or, you know, there's not that consistency that you're used to when you're working for someone else. So you're needing to work on your root chakra. So I destroy and release all lack of personal power, fear of losing control. The next one says lack of compassion or empathy. Now this one with the compassion or empathy, this could be you being more empathetic and compassionate with yourself. Okay. Loving on yourself more, being compassionate with your own desires. Okay. Um, then overstimulation. It could be that you're a workaholic for some of you, or it could be, let me see, why is overstimulation coming out here? So I have unconsciously judging others, loneliness and shyness. Hmm. Unconsciously judging others, third eye chakra. Then I have loneliness and shyness here. Bottom of the deck says social anxiety. So for some of you, it, I'm picking up more so the overstimulation is anxiety. Like literally, you might be overly consumed in your own mind about how people might feel about you or if people will receive whatever this new idea is, maybe fearful of bringing it to the world, fearful of what other people might think. Um, 
fearful of openly communicating your truth and what your life purpose is or what you've been placed here to do fearful of bringing your you know stepping into your destiny out of fear of what other people might think here i think the overstimulation deals with your thoughts um look at that it says fear of expressing individuality so for some of you this literally deals with you have an idea you have a creative idea. You know it's something that you're supposed to be doing. You might have already started writing that book, started writing them songs, started writing that movie. Uh, you might already have this intuitive idea to do something when it comes to healing others, being a leader, something here. You have an idea already. You know it's your destiny. You know it's your life purpose, but you are overthinking it because you're fearful of what other people might think. And so you're having a hard time openly expressing even when it comes to putting that thought out there into the universe, like, you know, I want to attract this. I want to create this, visualizing it and focusing in on that vision or openly communicating with the right people to help you to bring that vision into fruition. Some of you are fearful of putting this vision out there because you don't feel like you're strong enough or powerful enough and you fear losing control. You fear that there's not going to be enough security or stability there if you step into that position. So clear these energies out. Let me pull a declaration for you all to see what you need to destroy and release. And then I'm going to pull some cards for advice and we're going to close out. Um, so what do you need to destroy and release when it comes to money, finances, career, life purpose? So I have here, hmm, this is interesting. This is pretty deep actually. All curses of Deuteronomy over myself and my lineage are destroyed in spirit and in flesh. So the curses in Deuteronomy over yourself and your lineage. So go back and read the curses in Deuteronomy so that you can understand how it might interfere with your finances, how it might interfere with your life purpose, how it might interfere with you stepping into your own personal power. Read the curses of Deuteronomy. I've already done a whole message about that months and months ago. Go back and look at it um, where I spoke about the curses of Deuteronomy and how it has affected many lineages, you know, many generations. OK, so you want to write, burn and release that. Um, so let me pull some cards for advice and we're going to go ahead and close out. So advice to help you to manifest your desires. So I have here, don't forget to fulfill your needs while helping others. For some of you, <clears throat> you might find that you're having a hard time manifesting your desires because you're putting too much of your energy and effort into other people's desires. So you're helping others to manifest their vision, maybe whether you're financially supporting them or cheering them on or putting a lot of time and literally helping them to create whatever it is they visualize, but you're not fulfilling your own vision, okay? Okay. So putting more focus and emphasis on yourself is important. Then I have here, you will be blessed with more than you could ever imagine. So your blessings will come in the moment that you stop wor worrying about fulfilling others or filling up other people's cup, but not filling up your own cup. What other people should receive from you is the residual of what's coming out of your overflow. But they most definitely should not be in a position where they can drain your cup and leave you in a position where you can't refill it. So I have balanced all dimensions of your life. So clearing out blockages in spirit and in flesh, in sleep and awakened state across all timelines, realms and dimensions known and unknown. That's very important that you clear out blockages, not just in the physical realm. <clears throat> Too often we get overly consumed with our physical existence. And so we think that, okay, if I can just do this with this person, or if I can just get rid of just this job and go to this job over here, or if I can just move from this state to that state, then that'll solve all of your problems, but that's not always the case. Much of the time, the blockages are spiritual because your manifestation begins in the spiritual realm. It, it starts with a thought. It starts with a vision that you're putting out there into the ethers. And so understand that that manifestation is in the spiritual realm first. And so at some point you want it to manifest into the physical. So you got to first clear, clear out the spiritual blockages because if there's blockages in the spiritual realm and your manifestation begin in the spiritual realm, then when it's trying to come and manifest into the physical, bam, it hits that blockage in the spiritual realm, which could deal with 
you know, your own insecurities, your own fears, self-criticism, being jealous of others, you know, envying others' um, success, pouring too much of yourself into others, codependencies, uh, pleasure-seeking behavior patterns, unhealthy addictions. That is the spiritual blockage, so it won't come into fruition in the physical realm because it can't move past that spiritual blockage. So these are the things that you want to do, balancing all dimensions of your life. So let me pull one more. I have here, you won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. So for some of you, you know, again, you're, you're hoping to manifest love into your life. Or your soul tribe, people that get you. Um, and so if there's an energy of feeling alone, if you feel abandonment, if you feel isolated, those are low vibrational emotions that can block you from welcoming in your tribe. So you want to get into a space where you feel fulfilled, you feel happy, you feel full within yourself without having all of the extra energies and distractions around you. You just feel full within yourself. That is how you attract your tribe. That is how you attract your soulmate. That is how you attract your purpose. So I love you all. I hope this message brought you all some clarity. And if there's anything in here that I missed, you know, let me know if you want me to do another one of these types of uh, readings again. Leave your comments in the description box below, and I will talk to you all next time.